to do my full morning skincare routine which helps my skin just feel rejuvenated skincare doesn't necessarily heal acne but it definitely does help with it and it helps with the appearance of it like I've been saying in all of my other videos I'm working on getting to the root cause of my acne so if you want to see me actually do my skincare routine instead of just talk about it like I've done in previous videos then go ahead and please keep on watching Starting off my routine with dry brushing, and that literally is what it is. You take a skincare brush, you just dry brush your skin. No water, cleanser, oil, moisturizer, nothing. And this helps get your lymphatic system going while also buffing away any dry skin that you have on your face. Now I'm going to take a warm hot washcloth and just hold this to my face, work it throughout. It just feels so nice, it opens up the pores, and I just feel like it helps bad things escape my skin. I do also melt away my overnight aloe mask that I've been doing recently. I've been loving it. It's like going to sleep in what I imagine a caterpillar feels like in a cocoon. <laughs> like a plant mask. That is what I do every single night, recently. Next, I'm going to grab my Ocean Cleansing Milk from Osea. I love this stuff so much. I've been using it for years now. I'm almost out, and luckily, I recently got a new bottle. Either way, this will still last me a long time because a little goes a long way with this stuff. I love the Ocean Cleansing Milk so much because it hydrates my skin. It doesn't leave it feeling stripped. It's like a moisturizer, but it's a cleanser and I can go over my eyes without my eyes being irritated, burning, nothing happens to my eyes when this cleanser gets on them or around them, which I really, really appreciate because I want to be able to cleanse all parts of my face, not just around my eyes. Now that I have a nice slick base from the Ocean Cleansing Milk, I am now going to gua sha. I always start off with my neck and once I get down to my collarbones, these are lymph nodes. I just wiggle around to further stimulate that lymphatic drainage that I am trying to get with gua sha my neck and face. I'm gonna go along the jawline and usually on these more fleshy areas, you want to use your other hand to anchor the skin. Typically, I would go over my lips, but since I have these active zits that are really sensitive, I'm just going to leave them alone. The great thing about gua sha is that I am moving the lymphatic system, as you probably know, and what that does is it basically drains all of the excess water and toxins that are right below the skin so that's going to help get rid of any kind of congestion that is going on in my face and my neck on the eye area since it's so delicate and the skin is super thin you don't want to put a lot of pressure on it and also you really don't have to since the skin is so thin and also your lymphatic system is right beneath your skin so you're still having a really really good effect on it even though you have the lightest touch. And since the forehead is not a really fleshy area, you don't need to use your other hand to anchor the skin. This one is one of my favorites, right below your brow line and just pulling it up. Another reason why I like to use the Ocean Cleansing Milk to gua sha is because when I do so, I go into my hairline and I really don't want to be doing that with a moisturizer or serum or any kind of oil that will make my hairline feel greasy. But this doesn't, even though it's moisturizing, it just doesn't leave a weird residue in my hairline, which is so nice. This has DPHP in it, which is a plant-based amino acid commonly found in natural cellulite creams, which basically plumps the skin as you're cleansing it. Again, I'm going to take a warm hot washcloth, but this time I am going to melt away the ocean cleansing milk. With cold water on the washcloth, I am going to seal in my pores. I've been spraying this all over my face for years, but it's Osea's C Vitamin Boost. This stuff, oh my god. 
amazing. So rejuvenating, hydrating. When I spray it on my face, it doesn't leave a sticky film. It just makes my skin feel really firm and alive, and I just love this. Products with a dropper are always so much fun to apply. Like this is an Instagram makeup video. Like who is she? Drip, 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 drip too hard. Don't stand too close. It instantly absorbs, it plumps the skin, fills in the fine lines, feels so good. This would be amazing to gua sha with. And if you don't have gua sha tools, which uh, let's be real, my gua sha tools are not made out of jade. It is stained glass to look like jade, even though the seller claimed that it's real jade. But we can all tell that that is not real jade. You don't have gua sha tools, you can simply just do it with your hands. And I'm assuming that this doesn't have the same exact effect, but it's close. It still helps drain the lymphatic system and it's great for if you're traveling and you do have gua sha and you do have a real jade one that you don't want it to break. This way you can still get in your gua sha in your morning routine, but do it with just your hands. Not only does this have hyaluronic acid in it, but it also has a blend of different algaes, which algae is an abundant source of vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, antioxidants, and amino acids. It's 10 times richer in trace elements than land plants, which makes me really, really happy every single morning thinking about because every single product that is in my morning skincare routine is filled with algae. So I'm getting all those vitamins, minerals, antioxidants all over my face every single morning. If you could only get one product from Osea, I highly recommend you get the Ocean Cleansing Milk or the Hyaluronic C Serum. They're both incredible and they'll completely transform your skincare routine. I would honestly say that both of these products are great for all skin types because this doesn't leave your skin feeling oily or like super moisturized. It just doesn't strip it and it makes it feel balanced and rejuvenated. And this is just incredible. It absorbs into the skin instantly and it doesn't leave an oily residue whatsoever. Whatsoever, but at the same time it still moisturizes your skin if you have dry skin like myself And you can use the code SORSHA2019 on all orders $40 and above from Osea and you will get a free travel size product of your choice from them Which is amazing because if there's a product that you're iffy about that way you can get a free version of it and just try it out I'm gonna moisturize my lips using eyes and lips, which I completely love. I used to use this overnight lip repair stuff, which I loved. It came in a little container. It was amazing because it made my lips super soft when I woke up and also it neutralized the pigmentation in my lips and made them a nice like baby pink color. But unfortunately it's not vegan and cruelty free and probably the ingredients are horrid. I don't want that anywhere near me. So I found the perfect alternative, which is also for your eyes but I love this so much that I only want to use it for my lips and I need to apply more because I want my lips even more nude and it just kind of mattifies them and lightens the color and I love that so much and just really really hydrates them because like right here it is so dry in the corner of my mouth. It's ironic that it's called eyes and lips because both our eyes and lips don't produce moisture so it's really really important to make sure you hydrate those areas. This is such a better alternative. I clearly can't get enough. Like I'm just obsessed with putting this all over my lips. You may have seen in older skincare videos my obsession with this advanced protection cream that I have been using for years. It's incredible for my ultra dry skin and it creates like a barrier. It feels so nice. It's as if I am wearing, I, I don't want to say makeup because I feel like makeup is like, you know, like you feel trapped because that's not how I feel. But it just, like I said, it feels like a barrier and it protects my skin from chemicals and toxins and pollution when I step out and live my life. It just feels so nice on the skin. If you have dry skin, this moisturizer is going to transform your life. I am not just saying that, I really, really mean it. I fell in love with this product about three or four years ago. I don't know, it's been a long time. I haven't stopped using it ever since. Obviously, I've experimented with other moisturizers, but they really do not live up to the advanced protection cream. 
The last product that I am going to apply is the essential hydrating oil that is amazing. I need a little extra. <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm so extra, wow. Sometimes I'll do underneath my eyes, which is also nice because it's a roller ball, so it kind of stimulates a little bit of lymphatic movement. It smells so good. And the great thing about Osea is that they don't use any artificial fragrance in any of their skincare. This smells so good thanks to flower extracts and essential oils. I like to do a little bit on my collarbones. It just adds like a nice glow. The cool thing about this product is that it was Osea's first product formulated in the 80s. It's iconic. It's kind of a little aromatherapy moment. I know that this is so much moisture in one skincare video, but I love when my skin feels moisturized and plump, and that's what this routine does for me. If you're unsure about your skin and the products that will help it live its best life and help it glow, I left a really fun skincare question quiz in the description box below. This is just a skincare routine, so if you guys would like to see a skincare video that's all about what I do internally to benefit my skin and the update on that, it goes in waves, up and down, sometimes I'll have like a few zits. I mean, it's a lot better than it, what it used to be. This is all just like, I guess, I don't know what people will call this. Is this scarring? I don't even know. Leftover acne bits and little blackheads in dried up bits that are just there, not active, not active volcanoes, and these two are active volcanoes. It's really, really interesting because I'm actually really getting to the root cause of my acne, so we'll see where this takes me. After I do my skincare routine, especially if I do gua sha or any kind of lymphatic drainage, I make sure to get in a big glass of lemon water so that it basically takes out the trash from my liver and my lymphatic system that was living underneath my skin all the time. And that is my morning skincare routine that makes my skin feel amazing all day until even the next day, which I find incredible instead of it just wearing out throughout the day, if that makes sense. I want to thank my all-time favorite skincare brand, Osea, for partnering up with me on this video. It's always such an honor to work with them because I I love them so much and their products never let me down. And of course, they're vegan and cruelty free as well as they're paraben free, sulfate free, sustainably sourced, and gluten free. If there's any products that you wanna try or you need a restock on Osea products, definitely take advantage of getting a free Osea travel size product of your choice using the code SORSHA2019 on all orders, $40 or more. Please let me know if you would like to see a nighttime skincare routine because like I said, I've been using aloe on my face and I'm obsessed with it overnight. It's a new thing for me and I would love to share that with you. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of your skincare routine is. Mine definitely is the gua sha and the advanced protection cream all over my face because like I said, it's like a barrier for my skin. It's amazing. It's incredible. It lasts all day until the next day. I'm obsessed. <laughs>